Hi everybody, welcome back to my garden. So I just got back from uh, eight days of vacation in the Great North Woods and came back to a garden that just had exploded. Uh, so I thought I'd take you around while I do some harvesting because it hasn't been harvested in a week and there's a lot of things that need to be harvested. So let's go do that. First things first, you can see these potatoes. These are all ready to be pulled up pretty much. Um, I can't remember what varieties these are, just put them in the ground. We'll find out when we pull them out. And I'm going to leave them another week, maybe two until the tops completely die off because I just do not need potatoes right now. So I'm just going to leave them for now. But those are, um, look like they're ready to be harvested. As far as my tomatoes go, I did this short video right before I left on vacation. I know you all have been on pins and needles wondering which is going to be the first ripe tomato of the season? Um, my money was on Early Girl. But if you look at Early Girl, not ready yet. So, and then I thought this poor plant is not doing very well. We have the red currant, sweet pea red currant. Oh my yummy yummy. And surprise, surprise, over here, San Marzano with blossom end rot on it. I'm gonna pull that. That's a surprise. Next one is Jasper. Not quite ready. Another one is Galenus Cherry. Not quite ready yet. All of these tomatoes have gone ripe in the last five days. So I would say the winner is somewhere between the San Marzano and the Sweet Pea Current. So if memory serves, San Marzano was the first one to get ripe. And I've got another ripe one here. That one's ready. It would be really nice if these were all ripe at the same time. Um, the rest of these are Amish paste, and look at the size of some of these. Look at my hand. They're pretty big tomatoes. I don't remember them being that big. I remember them more, well, that's a pretty good size one too. More that size. I've spent the last hour trussing up these tomatoes. Um, I miss a branch when I go through and truss them. And I've been using this tape. It's like a Velcro tape and it's got a real soft inside to it, like a fuzzy inside. And it's a little easier on the plants on those clips. These clips here, these ones, these are really hard to get off sometimes. So I've spent an hour going through and just kind of lifting everything up. Um, we'll see if everything makes it because some of them were bent in half, some of them were uh, broken off. I see one I missed right there. See that? I had so many of them. And the more you truss up, the more you see need trussing. 
you know how that works. So I um, went through and did all that. I've got a bunch of tomatoes that can be harvested. These ones are the black strawberry. So I've got a few ripe ones on there. This Galenus cherry. These are one of my favorite tomatoes for a cherry tomato. Um, they are so good. The taste is wonderful. It's just a really good tomato, very sweet, uh, full of tomato flavor. Uh, this plant here, this is Shilling Giant, is loaded with tomatoes. And this had a bunch of branches down just from the weight of the tomatoes. So I can't wait for this one to get ripe. You can see here on this one, I don't know how good that camera is, it's just starting to turn yellow. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what those are like. I can't wait. As far as other tomatoes, uh, Jasper here is ripe. These are wonderful tomatoes for a small cherry type tomato. Uh, very prolific, um, very sweet, just wonderful, wonderful tomatoes. And Juliet is starting to get ripe here. Juliet, really good producer, hybrid tomato. I think Jasper is a hybrid too. Um, Juliet is an uh, All-American selections, All-American winners, something like that. Uh, tomato and it will climb up and over this trellis and uh, produce fruit until frost. So wonderful tomatoes. Some people say they don't taste very good. I have, I have had really good luck with them and I think they taste great. So this is early girl. It was not the first ripe tomato in my garden, but I do have a ripe one now. I went to test it and see if it was ripe and it fell off the plant. <laughs> so that's one good sign to see if a tomato is ripe. Um, this is a very dependable tomato. Not the brightest flavor, but it really is, um, for a first large tomato, like this will be the first BLT of the year, it really is a good tomato for the first one of the season. So that one's already been picked. And then my sweet pea currant, it just really, is not a happy plant this year. I normally have really good luck with this. Um, you can see, I'm gonna get this other tomato out of my hand. You can see all the brown leaves down in here? Don't know what's going on with that, but these little tiny tomatoes are really, really good. They're kind of a, they're kind of fiddly to pick, but they're worth it. I love to pick a bunch of them. When I make a salad, I'll pick a bunch and throw them in my salad and you don't have to chop anything up. They're awesome. So here is my first tomato harvest of the year. This is the early girl. They're pink, by the way. The Galenus cherry. Juliet. You can see they're getting some sun scald on them and the black strawberry. Um, Jasper. And we even have a few sweet pea currant. So that should make for a really nice snacking. Next we're going to do the cucumbers. Um, now it's really hot here today so these are going to look like I haven't watered them. Trust just trust me that they're getting plenty of water. The heat will make the leaves wilt. And it, like this plant here, it looks like it hasn't been watered, but it has. So don't let them fool you. So the first ones we're gonna do is the ones called Piccolino. We're just gonna look at these. I will be picking these ones off. These are like a Persian style cucumber. 
These are hybrids, by the way. The next one is called Garden Sweet. Um, that one's just a little too big. I'll get another one here. I don't know if I'll take this one yet, but I am going to take that one off. This is also Garden Sweet. And then the pickles. I've got a bunch this size. And I've got some this size. So I'll have to taste these and see if they're any good. They tend to go bitter when they get that big. But yeah. And here's another one. This one should be okay yet to eat. And then I have some of my favorite called Summer Dance. New leaf need to go away. So this is a nice long one. Very pretty, very sweet cucumber. I am really liking it. You can see this one here, how it's going yellow. That one is going to be iffy. So we'll see how they do, how they taste, I should say. And the last cucumber I'm going to pick is this Japanese long cucumber. Um, these are just wonderful cucumbers. Just wonderful. Nice and sweet, very juicy. Um, I really like them. So that one is definitely ready to pick. So here is my cucumber harvest. I can't wait to cut this one up and eat it. That Japanese long. So the other ones that are really good snacking are these piccolino. It's funny, th this is a hybrid and the older the plant gets, the weirder the cucumbers look. It's kind of funny. And then we got the big pickles and the summer dance. These are just starting to turn yellow, so I'll have to taste them before I cut those up. And this one is called Garden Sweet. So that one should have been picked a while ago too. But that's my cucumber harvest. Next is my zucchini. Now my zucchini plants here, this is alongside my cucumbers, didn't get very big. Um, I'm probably not gonna plant anything here next year because I just I need to make the holes bigger and blah 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 so I am just this is gonna be the last year I plant some here but I've got a yellow zucchini ready here that's a really good size and then I've got this monster green zucchini really big green zucchini um, I, funny thing if you don't know what to do with your monster zucchinis, go give them to the food bank. I asked them if they wanted to take them because I took them a bunch of zucchini and I said, do you want these big ones? And they're like, yeah, we'll take the big ones. And so if you have a bunch of big ones, like you go away on vacation, come back and you have all these huge zucchini, take them to the food bank. Someone is going to love to be able to make a bunch of recipes with that zucchini. So, so that one will get picked. Yeah, so, and then in my raised bed garden, I've got a bunch of them. These are Zephyr squash. Those are ready to be picked. Can you see them back there? And then I have more yellow zucchini here and here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick all of those as well. While I'm here, look at this uh, spaghetti squash. I'll put my hand on it so you can see how big it is. This thing is huge. <laughs> they did really well, these spaghetti squashes. Here is my zucchini harvest. We got the zephyr zucchini, a green zucchini. I believe this is green machine and then a yellow zucchini. Really looking forward to cooking up these. One of my favorite ways to eat zucchini is in the morning, I will cook up some zucchini and onion and butter and throw in some 
eggs and a little bit of cheese and that is my favorite way to eat zucchini um, another favorite thing I like to make with it is zucchini fries if you've never tried zucchini fries um, they are awesome and if you have a if you have an air fryer um, that makes it so much easier and they're so good if you're interested in either of those recipes let me know and I will do a video on them okay now on to peppers I don't know if you remember in the last video I think it was the last video my non harvest harvest video I'll put a clip in here I had a white pepper and I didn't know what color that was gonna turn so this is what it looked like before and this is what it looks like now beautiful purple I think I can pull this off it's like eggplant colored beautiful pepper so I've got a couple more on this plant so that's one down in here I'll set this one down are some more rainbow bells I'm gonna leave this just a few more days to see if it is gonna turn colors or if it's green but I think rainbow bells for the most part are a color other than green so I'm going to leave those for now because I can just see some coloring happening on there so I'm gonna leave those I have some Nicotiana that's self-seeded from last year such a pretty flower okay so I was having a senior moment and could not remember what color these peppers were supposed to be so rainbow bell see them when you buy a packet of the rainbow blend you get green red yellow orange and purple colored bell peppers so I'm gonna leave these on the plant till they are a different color other than green but if you want a green pepper you can eat peppers like this next to them here these are called Romanian this must look like that very early colorful bell pepper started as ivory they didn't well they're kind of ivory you think that's ivory? I don't know, that looks like light green to me, yellow. Turn persimmon orange, then finally mature to red. Fruit is typically in all three stages at one time. So these ones are not ready yet. I'm not gonna pick those, but again, if you needed a bell pepper, you could pick those peppers. Over here, the sugar brush peach very prolific plant they're supposed to look like this so those aren't ready yet this one is falling over I'm gonna have to get a steak yeah not good Cajun Bell they are Cajun Bell they are they turn from green to scarlet and finally to deep red so those aren't ready either Escamillo here. These are big. Really big. Very nice. Hybrid sweet pepper. 60 green, day 60 green, 80 yellow ripe. So these are supposed to be yellow. I was actually right about one of them. These are Jupiter Bell. Nice big bell pepper. Like really big. You can tell how big that is. These are supposed to be red. Intruder. These are green. So I'm going to pick this. No. No, I'm not. And this one needs a steak too. This is a rainbow bell. Also needs a steak. So you can see some of the onions that I planted in with my peppers are doing pretty good so 
surprise, surprise, surprise. I am surprised at that. So there is my pepper harvest. Exciting, huh? <laughs> I did get one. I could pick those green ones, but I'm not going to pick them until I need them. So I'm just going to pick this one pepper and leave it at that for today. I will snack on this for the my lunches this week. So one of the things I realize is I never show you my green beans. Um, I have gotten two harvests off these green beans already. Last time was a week ago. I came out and harvested them. And um, I'm getting some really nice beans. These are a Harcover style bean. And um, they're very flavorful. So I've been getting really good harvest out of here. These beans are growing in a 20 gallon pot. And um, I'll just come out here and pick a few and eat them. So green beans doing very well. Okay, so for today's harvest, I got a handful of green beans. Last time I harvested these, by the way, I got two quart bags full. And that was a week ago. My lone purple bell pepper. That'll be yummy in my, for my lunch this week for snacks. Yellow zucchini, green zucchini, whoops. Zephyr. Squash. How do you tell the difference between zucchini and squash? Zucchini has this big, thick neck or root and these have a nice thin one uh green zucchini i think i said that already cucumbers we'll see what's still edible and what's not and yummy 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 the very first tomato harvest all right that's going to do it for this week everybody thank you so much for watching if you have any questions please leave them down in the comments section below and until next time happy gardening everybody Bye bye so I did stick my hand in the potatoes just to see if there were any to the top and these ones were right on top of the soil. These are Yukon Golds. So I got a nice little harvest of those. Pulled them out with my bare hands. So I forgot one more thing that needs to be harvested. And that's this. My favorite thing to do in the summer is make some sun tea and this is ready to go inside yummy yummy okay so for today's harvest I got a handful of green beans last time I harvested these by the way I got two quart bags full and that was a week ago my lone purple bell pepper that'll be yummy in my for my lunch this week for snacks Yellow zucchini, green zucchini, whoops, zephyr, squash. How do you tell the difference between zucchini and squash? Zucchini has this big, thick neck or root, and these have a nice thin one. Uh, green zucchini, I think I said that already. Cucumbers, we'll see what's still edible and what's not. And yummy, 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 the very first tomato harvest. All right, that's going to do it for this week, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments section below. And until next time, happy gardening, everybody. Bye-bye.